Okay guys, here we are in the gym called Tilton Fitness at the Tropicana in Atlantic City. It is Pamela's 53rd birthday. She's over there talking to her son right now. I went ahead and got started. They have an amazing gym here. Haven't been here yet, it's our first day. Look at this stuff, they have Cybex Eagle. This is like top of the line equipment. Look at this place, they got a whole boxing gym upstairs. Huge, awesome free weight section over here. Probably gonna be here for several hours. Pamela and I are the kind of people that on our birthday we like to work out. So she wants to work out today and then we're gonna go to the beach and chill. We did a 20 or something mile bike ride yesterday all over the boardwalk, all over Atlantic City. And we say, you know what, let's get up and lift, let's do some upper body. Just did a bunch of shoulder presses. This thing's amazing, look at this Eagle stuff. Not only is it independent, so it moves like this, I mean, it's just incredible. This stuff is the best stuff I've ever used in my life. I've only used it one time before when I belonged to a place. Anyway, Jim Boss is his name. Really cool guy here. Isn't it cool that his name is Jim Boss and he opened a gym? How awesome is that? He leases this area from the Tropicana. The people who stay at the Tropicana get to go here for free. It is a gym to the outside world as well. So other people belong here. I already did a whole oh, bunch of these. Hi. Have you been over there goofing off? No, I had the social media post <laughs> to reach everyone like yourself. All right, listen, get down on here, and then we're gonna go over here, we're gonna do some more shoulders and biceps. We'll take you guys along with us. Yeah, this is good stuff. It's got 35s on there. I forget what the start is on this. It is 10 pounds. So basically it's like having a 45 on each arm. Go Pamela. So we're doing delts and biceps. Basically, this is what we like to do because a lot of people don't really realize they're a good muscle group to do together because your labrum, which actually connects to your bicep, goes through your delts. So you actually, doing biceps and shoulders together is a good thing to try to do. So we did some machine uh, shoulder presses. We did some straight curls. We're gonna do some, this is hammer strength. I tried one plate, we're gonna try two. And we're just gonna press them up and see how it goes here. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Good, come on. Yeah. Wow, that's tough. Okay, so we're gonna finish a couple more sets on this. We did the straight curls. We didn't film that because there's a lot of people over there. And we did the side press. We're gonna go back to bias now. This is an amazing hammer strength uh, preacher curl. That is the exact same one in our gym. So we're gonna go smash on this one next. All right, we're moving over here to this preacher. This is one of my favorite preachers ever made of all time. It is one of the most old school, smoothest, amazing preachers. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> She's like, yes. The reason that I like it is it has a little bit of a thinner pad, and so my arms actually put all the way off the edge. I'll show you when I get on it. So if you have an opportunity to use a hammer strength curl like this, it's very, very nice. It's plate loaded. This is too light. Yeah, too light for, too light for Pamela. Let's get some weight on there. All right, so the way I get up into this thing, get my hands on it. I've already done wide curls with free weights, so kind of gonna go a little bit more in, but I get my elbows way off the edge so they don't dig into the pad. Oh my god, okay? Get this up all the way like this. Your arms almost hit the bar. You see my forearms almost hitting. But anyway, I got a 35 on here. I'm just gonna kind of warm up a little bit. I'm gonna go all the way down and hit it all the way up as far as you can. This is an amazing machine. One of my absolute favorite old school preacher machines of all time. It's a great way to finish a bicep workout. Stretch it out. I'm gonna go all the way down and sit it down at the bottom. Like that. Alright, let's throw some weight on here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and jump up by 35s. When I was younger and I did these uh, hammer strength, I used to just jump up by 45s. Getting a little older now, so I jump up by 35s, a little bit smaller increments, gives you a little extra warm up. How young are you? Just a little bit, but we're gonna be 50 here soon. So you're 53 today. Yes, I am. I feeling amazing. Well, Let's see how this one goes. We're gonna try this. This is two thirty-five. This is a seventy pound one. Put these arms down in here. Now you'll notice when I come 
going down, I pause for a second. And you gotta let that muscle stretch. You don't ever wanna bounce it. You don't ever want to, you know, hyperextend it. One of the things you'll notice that we did, if you look down here at the bottom, put a little plate underneath this stopper. What it does is, since I have my arm so far on this, is it's not like hyper steady my arm. I'm going straight, but it's not like extra pulling it. So if you have a machine like this, just take a little two and a half or a five, throw it underneath there, it'll take away that hyper extension. A little tip for you young, youngsters out there. Okay, we're gonna try adding another 35. So this is 435, it's 140 pounds on here. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good though. You've been eating good. You've been hanging around a superhero. That's right. See if I can do a couple anyway. Um, Alright. People quite often say, you know, aren't you afraid that you're gonna lose strength or lose muscle if you go plant-based? Well, I went plant-based over 10 years ago. And I'm still trying to curl 140 pounds. So uh, the answer of that would be no. I am not afraid of losing strength. <laughs> and you're, you're not getting wimpy from eating tofu and soy either, right? No. Alright, let's see what you do something. Come on. Good job. And that's heavy. <laughs> All right, Pamela's got a 35 and a 10 on here. Now she doesn't lean as forward as I do because she doesn't have ridiculously long arms like I do. <laughs> right? But it is nice if you got long arms, you can hang right off the edge of this, which is a beautiful feeling. Plus, I got bony Popeye elbows, so they dig into the bench. But she kind of does more of an angle. It's a great machine, isn't it? Oh, yeah. She's like, yeah, I love it. It's so awesome. I want to do curls on my birthday every every year. <laughs> yeah, this is such a great machine. Such a great machine. Look at those biceps. Yeah. Do it. Let's get some more. Look at those arms. Mm. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Get those curls. People say I want arms like you, Pamela. Put in the work. Yeah, people always say that to her. Love your arms. She's like, gotta do, cur I don't gotta do want curls. Two pound <laughs> Good job. Okay, so Pamela's doing some wider grip free weights because she was doing some other stuff when I was doing those. So what do we got here? Um, so those plates are 11 pounds each. So that is 44, and I don't know what that bar weighs. I don't think it's very much, maybe five. <laughs> so that's her heart rate monitor telling her she's improving fitness. It's kind of neat. This is actually a really cool studio. You can see they have a little speaker thing there. You could plug in or play it. We actually have just been playing it, rocking out in here. We did turn the music off because, you know, YouTube doesn't like that, right? But. We've been rocking out in here, and it's kind of like fairly early, so there's no classes going on, so we're just, we just took over the whole room. We commandeered one of the fitness rooms. We're just doing our own stuff in here. Oh. Nice job, babe. All right, so we're actually upstairs. There's several rooms upstairs, which is really awesome. They have aerobics rooms, and no one's using this one right now, so Pamela and I decided to come up here. We're gonna do some flies, but we're gonna do them a little different. Um, I introduced Pamela to these. You love these flies, don't you? Sure. <laughs> One of the ways that we try to do flies, and I'll watch the hand if they kind of got long arms, is to stand nice and straight. This is kind of like a balance type of thing. You go nice and easy. Now we did warm up. These are 15s. I don't go much higher than that. You try to tap it behind you, and then you turn them and tap them above your head. You're basically turning them to use your thumbs. And you really try not to move. Just try to use your delts. Keep your arms as straight as possible. These are very hard. If you're at home, you could use some cans of beans or something, right? Sure. This is a great way to finish your shoulder workout. Very tough. Okay, Pamela's doing some. These are tough. You gotta bring them all the way down, touch them in the back, touch them on top of your head. These are very tough. But really, 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 really good. It's like 180 degrees. 
A lot of people do like shoulder raises. They just kind of throw them up a few degrees. These are challenging. Very challenging, These yes. Are seven and a half, seven. Panel's got 7.5s. So I got 15s. So we're getting some decent reps. We're going to come down a little bit and wait and do a little more reps, though. Tough stuff. There's something I haven't seen in a long time. What about you, Pamela? Yeah, last time I used this, we had one into Stormsville Rock where you and I both work. I think yeah. we still have it, but I think we were in Orlando. It was one of the casinos they had it. It's a nice one. Jacob's yeah. Ladder. But Get on there. We're setting up the bike ride. Yeah. We're going later. I think we're going to skip this today. Yeah. How cool is that, though? This place really does have everything. We're going to finish up over here and do some more rotator exercises. So Pamela's throwing a little legs in like she always does. She found this amazing glute machine. I'll tell you what, this Eagle brand, this Eagle Cybex for about 20 years or so has been seen as one of the most amazing brands out there. And this guy's gym is full of it. If you come to Atlantic City, stay at the Tropicana, remember when you go on vacation, guys, it's about you, right? Yes. And so focusing on yourself, getting a good couple of workouts in, maybe not every day, maybe every other day, but come down here in the Tropicana Gym. This place is unbelievable. We're gonna put some links if you wanna check it out. How did my glutes look for my 53rd birthday? Those are some 53 year old glutes that are crushing right there, Pamela. Amazing, totally amazing. This place really is fantastic. We're gonna do some shrugs and stuff and wrap it up. But yeah, just check out all this stuff that this guy has. I mean, it really is unbelievable for a hotel gym. We were talking to these young ladies over here. They actually work. Uh, for the casino and they get a discounted price to come here and they say they love it and we love it too <laughs> all right here we go you want to try to move your head forward dan is doing this last set of shoulder shrugs lifting the entire stack an awesome look out here, baby, didn't we? Oh, it was amazing. We get all this stuff up. It's a great way to end it, doing some shrugs, help stretch it out, get the pressure out. We're heading over to an awesome place we found called the Vegans Are Us. We're gonna ride our bikes over here. We're gonna do a video on it, so make sure you check that We're gonna out. ride our butt bikes? Of course, why not? <laughs> I'm just kidding. And uh, then we're gonna go out. Yeah. We're gonna get dressed up, have a good old time. Dan, you finally get to dance with me. I'm That's excited right. and Put your lung power to singing some karaoke tonight. We'll do some karaoke, so stay tuned for some fun videos. We'll probably be coming up. We'll probably put some pictures though at the end of this. And uh, we're gonna go say goodbye to Jim Boss, the owner of this place who opened it. Awesome, awesome guy. So check him out. He's come and say bye. We're here real quick. All right. So this is Mr. Jim Boss. I love your name, by the way. I gotta say that is so cool. Yep. So you just said, hey, I'm just gonna open a gym. So that's my name and stuff. I had to. It was yeah, you had to. Yeah, it'd be like if my name was Dan Nurse or something, I'd have to be a nurse. Well, anyway, we want to thank you. This is an amazing place. One thank of the you. best, probably one of the best gyms we've ever been to. Now, if you're staying in Atlantic City and you stay at the Tropicana, you're just going to be able to go here for free, which is amazing. Now, let's say that you stayed somewhere else and you just want to come in here for the day. How much would it cost? We do a $15 day pass. That's a pretty good deal. Most gyms do about 10 or 15 bucks. Yep. But if you just stay at the Trop, go for free, right? It's free. Well, thank you, sir. We're going to put some links in the description and everything awesome. about you. We think this is amazing. This is going to bring us back to the Tropicana for sure because we love it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, man. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. All right. You're going to do a couple more workouts right here, pulling this lever. <laughs>